Um, Minister, my time is limited in terms of my contribution here, so I do wish to quickly welcome the many provisions in this bill that will support the work of Angarda Siakona in the essential duty that they perform to the state. We're lucky to live in a democracy where we police by consent and where the police force is generally held in such high regard. And it is, of course, imperative that we as a state provide all such safeguards that we can, that we can to best protect members of the Gardaí as they place themselves in the line of duty on a daily basis. And so I welcome the many provisions of this bill uh, in that light. That, that principle of consent is a very important one. And we understand that as an aspect of the social contract that co-creates the state among its people and that it involves a deli delicate balancing act between rights to individual liberty placed against the constraints that the state may place on that liberty uh, for the common good. These choices and how we make them, that characterises the nature of our state. So, Minister, I am concerned um, by your signalled intent to introduce amendments at committee stage governing the use of facial recognition technology. For me, that represents a large shift in that balance of freedoms and constraints. Um, it's evident, too, that the Minister believes that it's consequential in that you devoted close to five minutes of your opening speech to this issue. The Minister outlined many powerful arguments in favour of FRT, and those do deserve careful consideration. But there are also many who raise concern, and many of the previous speakers across this House have done so, both in terms of civil liberty implications, but also in relation to the current efficacy and accuracy of the technology. There is a growing body of evidence that shows that FRT can be inherently biased, exposing divergent error rates across demographic groups, with the poorest accuracy consistently found in subjects who are female, black, and between 18 and 30 years of age. As an example, in the UK, more than 1,000 young black men were removed from so-called gang database when it was uncovered that they had no gang affiliation at all. I'm also conscious of moves to legislate on this issue at the EU level. The AI Act, which is published by the Commission in 2021, is currently working its way through the legislative process at the EU level and is not anticipated to be complete until 2024 at the earliest. And with that timeline in mind, it may be more appropriate for us to delay legislating for the use particularly of live searches uh, using FRT until that EU position is finalised. Minister, given the gravity of this issue, I would ask would it not be more appropriate to allow this bill to progress through the houses of the, Do of the Oireachtas without the introduction of FRT amendments at committee stage to return to this through a standalone piece of legislation that would allow for a period of meaningful public consultation, including a full PLS process on the introduction of FRT te technology to policing in Ireland. Thank you, Deputy.